Hey, I just wanted to thank Rich off of uh, the Mach 3 support forum and Hood from Scotland. Y'all have all just been a tremendous help. Uh, last night, Rich called me and helped me learn how to figure out how to set all the tools for the tool changer. It's got a six position rotary turret. Uh, I had the macro, but still didn't know anything about how to use it. Rich told me how Lupe drives a car and parks it on the 50 yard line. <laughs> and, uh, oh well, that's a whole nother scene. But, uh, anyway, here it goes. This is, uh, tool one is loaded. And let's see if I was anywhere close to learning. <laughs> Not bad. How about tool four? Let's call for tool four. Now this is the old Dyna. It's running the stock hardware. It's running a, a uh, three fifty six fifty drivers, uh, driven by a C thirty five board and a smooth stepper. And let's give it that same command again. We'll go up to the G O Z O X O and hit it. See how it does with tool four. Sorry for the shaky iPhone photography. Let's see if we get close again. Well, looks like we're getting awfully close. Rich was a good teacher. He was better than most of my teachers as a child. He told me to shut up and ask questions after he was through. Hard to imagine that worked, but it did. Even though I still don't understand the analogies of uh, Lupe and the 50-yard line and all that stuff. <laughs> it was funny to get through it. Anyway, I think I get it, what he got was trying to teach me. Anyway. Oh, I called for the wrong tool, didn't I? I had a, a boring bar in there I wanted to do. Let's see. T606. That's a little boring bar. And uh, I've never used it. Just, just figured it should be in there so you can complete all the tasks. And let's see. That's so cool. Hope y'all enjoyed that. And uh, again, thanks to Rich and Hood and all the people on the mock support forum and CNC Zone. They help just a tremendous amount for us dummies. Enjoy.